right, Dr. Reed here. Listen, I wanted to share just a couple of minutes about the different degree, degrees of anointing to prophesy. And don't try to fit in a, a level that you haven't arrived at yet and try to be like someone else. Let God move you through as you're gaining faith and you will prophesy according to your faith. So, you know, there are is a, there is an anointing where the people are in the congregation, they're gathered together, the worship is booming in God, you can just feel him all over the place. And, and many people can prophesy in that, especially if there's a leader that stands up and does some encouraging that the voice of the Lord, he wants to speak. Someone come forward. Some of you are hearing from God. Then after that, you may have a struggle with prophesying because you aren't in that, that gathering where the worship is, is penetrating you like it was. Then there's another measure of the anointing to prophesy, and that is the gift. The gift is from God himself, and you can prophesy just about pretty much any time. The reason we may not is because of our mood, our attitude at the time, or whatever. And it could be other circumstances, but you carry that gift, and God has anointed you with it in that measure, so you're able to minister pretty much any time in the prophetic. Try it over coffee on your job because God is calling many prophetic people and prophets into the workplace to make a difference, to make a change. Then there's the measure of being the prophet, the prophet of God, the one that hears from God, the one that can shift atmospheres, the one that can know secret things. Uh, that doesn't mean any of the other levels don't ever do that. But primarily the prophet the leader of the prophet is God himself, not mankind, really. God ordained and anointed and appointed that person to be a prophet before birth. And so he has a pathway set and a plan where that person can do some shifting and changing in the earth. Powerful. Can lay hands on you and transfer some of his anointing to you and can birth things like give prophetic words that speak something over someone's life from the Lord that they never didn't know about. Like, uh, I see you coming into a great inheritance and they had no clue that where that could be coming from. And two or three months later, they're running into the building saying, I can't believe it. <clears throat> My distant aunt left this, that, or the other, an inheritance for me. So they birth things, they speak things forth and they can come alive and become active in your life. So this is just a short clip on that, but there's so much more about prophetic people and prophets of God. And I also want you to learn it, to know it, so you'll know that you're hearing from God and you can take yourself out there and do his will. God bless you. And I pray anointing on you to prophesy like never before.